And this is the end. We'll be discussing cells. This will be part two of our discussion on cells. So continuing on with the parts of the cells and what they do and how they look, we have ribosomes. Ribosomes are where proteins are going to be made in the cell. There's lots of them throughout the cell. Uh, they're found in the cytoplasm and also on a structure called the ER, which refers to the endoplasmic reticulum, which we will get to in the next few slides. This is what a ribosome looks like. This is a very large picture of a ribosome. They're actually very small, but they just really look like little circles found throughout the cell. The endoplasmic reticulum, or ER, uh, the function of this is it transports materials throughout the cell, things like proteins. Will take, it'll take them from one place to the other. There's two types of ER. There's a type called rough, which has ribosomes on it, and then there's smooth, which does not have ribosomes on it, but they really have the same functions. This is just showing some endoplasmic reticulum. Up here is the smooth, where there's no little black dots on it, which represent ribosomes. And then the rough ER has the ribosomes on it. Next, we come to the Golgi apparatus. The Golgi, the function of it is it packages and distributes proteins throughout the cell. A lot of these functions will have to do with proteins because as humans and as living things, that's really what we're made out of. So a lot of these functions relate to you know, making proteins and using proteins and sending proteins out. The structure of it, they always say it looks like a stack of pancakes. I'll show you a model of it and you can be the judge of that. And this would be what the Golgi looks like in the cell. Next are the lysosomes. This is the cleanup crew of the cell, so where any old particles are concerned, uh, they'll go to the lysosome, and the lysosome will act like the custodians, and they will eliminate them and just really digest those particles. Here's what the lysosomes will look like in the cell. Next, we come to vacuoles. Uh, vacuoles are really storage, so they're going to store salt, carbohydrates, um, water, anything that needs to be stored in the cell will be inside of the vacuole. And again, in a plant cell, they're very, very large. Animals have them, but they're much smaller. In a, in a plant, this would be the vacuole. Notice how large it is inside the plant cell. The cytoskeleton of the cell really offers structure and support to the cell, and we have three main structures that do this, microfilaments, microtubules, and centrioles, and really they work together to give the cell some kind of support, just like your skeleton gives your body support. And then lastly, we have structures called the cilia and flagella, which have to do with helping the cell move. Some cells need to move and some cells do not need to move. Uh, if a cell does need to move, they may have these structures. Uh, cilia are little hairs that will be around the cell, that, and the little hairs will move and the cell will also move. Uh, flagella is really just a long tail that a cell may have that allows that cell to propel itself to where it needs to get to. And this concludes our presentation on cells.